The 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom is one of the most pivotal moments in civil rights history. But many people don't know about the architect of that historic event. Now, a new movie from Netflix and Higher Ground Productions puts a long overdue spotlight on that man, Bayard Rustin, an out gay man who challenged authority and never backed down from what he believed in. Because of his sexuality, Rustin was often a target within the movement and by the government, and it rendered him invisible to the writer public. But that didn't stop him. It motivated him. With the backing of the big six civil rights leaders, Rustin organized the March on Washington in just seven weeks. Here's a scene from Rustin. We are going to put together the largest peaceful protest in the history of this nation. How big? 100,000 people. Is he for real? A massive two-day demonstration with enough power to shut down the White House and Capitol Hill made up of angelic troublemakers such as yourselves with ideas so bold, so inspiring, the execution will demand all groups draw tightly together and become one. Joining me now is the star of Rustin, Coleman Domingo. Coleman, it is so great to see you. Thank you very much for getting up early, uh, Pacific Coast time. My pleasure. It's my pleasure, Jonathan. So good to see you. So, Coleman, why is it important for the world to know who Bayard Rustin was? There's so many reasons, and I, the list can go on and on, but the major one is the fact that this man has had such an impact on who we are today, on the civil liberties that we we fought to protect and have and make this country bend towards justice. He inspired Dr. King with his ideologies of passive resistance, which were taught by Gandhi. This man was an incredible organizer and thinker, and he has been marginalized in the history books because he was openly gay. But he, he lived and moved through spaces as such a singular, unique human being. And I think a lot of his Quaker principles helped him really to engage and really uh, rally uh, all these separate and diverse organizations like CORE and SNCC and SCLC and NAACP to, you know, everyone who's trying to do all the things that are right for all of us. But how do we coalesce that into a real movement? And so the March on Washington was uh, his design. He was the architect of that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I have told you this to your face. Um, I've seen the movie three times. And each time, I forget that I am watching you play Bayard Rustin. Yeah. You are Bayard Rustin in this movie. How mm -hmm. did you approach portraying this singular figure? Oh, wow. Well, at first, I did copious amounts of research, whatever papers I can get my hands on, books and, and writings and, and, and debates uh, and interviews, because he... I, once I learned that he was not only a Quaker, he was a young communist, he was an, a star athlete in school. He also sang Elizabethan love songs and, and <laughs> spoke with a, a slight mid-Atlantic standard accent of his own making. I thought, you know, I just wanted to get into his soul and understand how that person can really move through the world in such a unique way. You know, I thought that he, he took up space at a time when the world wanted to truly uh, put a foot on his neck. Mm -hmm. What do you hope people will take away after watching Rustin? Well, based on uh, the news uh, that you just presented about such, such ills and horrors in the world right now, I think the, the film is a clarion call to action, to take part, to have some hope where it feels hopeless, where you feel like you can, you feel like you can do something. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, th I think that that's the, the purpose and the intent of the film, and that's why it's heralded by the Obamas, because it feels like there's it, it's actionable. It's something we can actually hold on to and inspire young people to say we can help uh, change this world. We can get in there. We don't have to feel hopeless and feel like this, our hands are tied, but we can form coalitions um, about, and really we can find ways to love each other more. Mm -hmm. um, how important, uh, Coleman, how important was it that it's the, this is the first feature film of Higher Ground Productions, which is the, the, the production company of Barack and Michelle Obama, the former president and former first lady of the United States. It's so meaningful because they put their money where their mouth is. We, uh, this was, uh, Bayer Rustin was a figure who inspired Barack Obama. He, he actually said, um, when he presented uh, the film to the HBCU First Look Film Festival last week, he said there would be no Barack Obama if there was no, uh, if there was no Bayard Rustin. 
he was a chief organizer and all of his practice is a way of strategizing and leading with his heart and soul. Rolling up his sleeves and just doing the work meant everything to him. So he mm -hmm. was always someone he was inspired by. Um, I was at that screening that, that you also attended last week here, here in Washington. It was a joy to have to be sitting in front of you watching this movie. Um, how do you feel about the Oscar buzz that is swirling around you as a result of this portrayal? It doesn't surprise me. Let it swirl. It was, I think if it's swirling for me, it's swirling for Bayard. I gave everything that I could as an artist to tell the story, to lead this film, and I think in the spirit of Rustin. And I think, um, you know, honors, uh, accolades, I think help further the things that you believe in, which is great. So if there's a tension in that way, I said, bring it on, let it come, because it always goes back to the source of these people that I'm inspired by, like Byron Rustin and Ella Baker and A. Philip Randall. It goes to them as well. It amplifies all of us. You know, folks, y'all have to, you could see um, Rustin on Netflix. It is streaming now. And if you don't cry at that last scene, you ain't human. Oh. Coleman, Dem <laughs> Coleman, <laughs> Coleman Domingo, uh, it is always a pleasure to see you. Thank you so much for getting up early in L.A. to, to be on the show. And again, you can watch Rustin on Netflix.